so I'll be reading four pieces. Um, this first one is a, a prose piece and it's called Other Side. And so the world was divided into Harry's Star and Larry's Star. You can't call it revenge if the killing occurred at the same time. Those killings feeding to each other like a swirling figure of eight in blood. The numbers grow. Infinity grows and falls to his side. Murderers are best left unasked about the use of euthanasia. Each grapples for the beginning of blame as a knife yielding hand reaches for the end. In conflict, more intertwined than the bodies of lovers, their limbs wrestle over a new capital disputed, each calls murder. If only this murderous strip simply existed in pastry and the raw of the mob was hot, oil excited. The geometry of death weaves a map across the terrain, each calls one. Where do you go? Where would you live? Is your country the one you will be born in? Or the one you will? Or the one you die? Let the vultures decide with their profits. Those who yearn to belong to the country of birds whose geography is air are made to endure hard labor in a cage. Your mother tongue is not the one you read or write but with which you dream, laugh, and scream under torture. Welcome to other stuff. Find us between the gaps of words, the hollows between syllables. The lingua franca is of sighs, yawns, burps, and sneezes. Its rivers are no better than running noses. Its hills and mountains disappointing as any lover's knees. Other stuff. A republic where each man is king because each woman is king of that. Our national anthem is a mere silence. Eventually, the abacus tips, the number of dead is too large, the sand time is too heavy to live, the fruits on branches grow rich with flesh, they pump out their cheeks slowly with vomit. The trees creak off their knees, straighten their backs and raise a head of laughter to the sun. The water rumbles with fish. O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Be the better son of Adam. Take the post and go to his knees. I remain truly an other son. Uh, that was written a couple of years ago whilst I was um, held in solitary confinement in the death row prison in America. And uh, this is a poem about the person who was responsible for sending me there. Um, some of you might remember her. It's called um, A Song to Brian, the Right Honourable Theresa May. <laughs> Silver Griffons, saucy smile, kitten deals, terribly stay on speak your name. Your predecessors made some dodgy deals. Some people are so blind in that shame. A Euro judgment says in USA. So part in a pair of Jimmy Tree and shake it down my dining bud of May, or tell to show you are my greatest news. <laughs> the love that dare not speak his name is true. My lonely hand will burn him in despair. I flicker with his dreams I wish you knew. Don't snuff them out, just smother me with care. <laughs> Theresa May, my babe, my crazy chick. All I ask, drop this extradited trick. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably because the first line didn't sound properly. <laughs> um, so, in the same week that. Um, so, when I was um, deprived of sight and sound and, and handed into US custody in this country and strip search and put in handcuffs and tethered to leg shackles and on a plane to go across the Big Atlantic. In that same week, uh, I also won a poker competition. So every cloud has a silver line. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
missing the poem from uh, that lecture, and it, it's called uh, Grieving. If I was a comb in your hair, a bracelet on your wrist, the henna on your feet, there would be no need to mourn. For the rhythm of your blood has caused, we stand here by your tomb. And when I turn back like a yoke in my fist, her small hand. Tonight, the sheets scorch me. The house is bloated in its emptiness. Wherever I search for you, I erase your presence. I stare at my hands like a murderer. When in the darkness, I hear kitten steps. A handle clicks, and like a ball bouncing down the stairs, the name only you could have given me. If I were the comb in my head, a watch on my wrist, the sandals on my feet, there would be no need to mourn. Holding her to me, your bones jostled within, and unknown to her, I cling on to be alive. And this is the final piece. This is a translation of a, um, uh, an Arabic poem. Is anyone here who reads Arabic? Most of Arabic. So, um, so this is this is something I did when I was at um, Long Larkin, which is a um, high security prison in Muslim, where some uh, German cities are kept as well. And uh, it's a poem by someone called uh, Abu Firas al Hamadan, who died in the 1968 Common Era. And he was, he wrote a series of poems when he was in captivity uh, with the Byzantines. Byzantine. And um, he, he, he wrote a, a long poem to his uh, paternal cousin, who was a strange paternal cousin, his former patron, Satan Dola, who was the ruler of Aleppo at his time, and he's complaining about delaying his ransom. So it's a, it's a pretty long poem, but I'm just going to read some some last bit of it. And just to give you a flavour of the Arabic, I'll just read a couple of lines from the beginning, uh, just so you can get a sense of what it sounds like in Arabic. Amali jameel in anda kunna sawabu, wala limusin anda kunna matabu, laqadalla man tahwa hawabu khariidatun, laqadalla man taqbi alayhi ka'abu. And so I'm just going to read it on the end. Uh, I tried to translate it to blank verse, but it didn't work, so I just kept it surviving. Um, so, what should I say? Yes. Okay. Cousin, what good can a sword do for us if its tip and blade are blunt and flattened? Cousin, we are strong in arms so swift, one day soon we will be a mighty force. And men, their sons, not like sons or sisters, deserve greater redress and more respect. So what excuse when they're called, and cousin you too, yet they respond and you refuse? I do not claim that which God knows different. To the ingrace, my hurt is wide open. Its works for the greedy are generous, and its wealth for the wanting is booted. Alas, the sword no longer hits its mark. To my eyes, even shrieking stars are black. Death is too slow for me, though she is fast. Death with her claws and fangs that have turned blunt. If love of family is not enough, and even blood ties were never there, to Islam I will call it won't fail me. It gives me your protection and support. But whatever the case, I am content to learn which of those ties is a mirage. I can still be pleased with a little love, even a lot, should it have a seal. I want to stay upon this love whilst pleased, remembering hopes and their fulfilment. I, 
love pure, not hoping for reward, not fearing any conviction through it. To know that once I could gladly walk on when every day was caught in company, but how when Caesar's realm lies between us and the frothing sea surrounds me with waves, after my soul was spent for what you wanted, instead of tribute, I received bitter hurt. Let it be you are sweet and life's bitter, let it be you are pleased, the world angry. Let what's between you and me bond tight while between me and all else falls to ruin. If your love is true, all is easy. Above the dust is nothing but more dust. Thank you.